Hi, this is uh, Christopher Chin with uh, Costas Adobe's Industry. I just wanted to do a um, unboxing video of the Ferguson uh, Pro Vat Warmer for the Sonic, uh, the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. Uh, this is a newly re released product, and I think um, uh, there's not many of them out there. So I wanted to show everyone what it actually comes in the box um, and how it exactly uh, what you're what you're getting. Um, and I already opened this, so foam is out. But normally there would be uh, foam over this is when he what he shipped me. Uh, you can see that he sent a nice little uh, vat cover and that goes right over this little guy. So I have a vat here. You can see it sits right over that and that will work with your existing um, uh, nuts. Uh, but you can al he also has a new design for his little speed nut um, that goes over the post and can hold this in place and whatnot. Um, so either one works. The nice thing is instead of uh, it's a very well fit you can see there's a little bit of a gap right there um, but at least uh, there's less likelihood you're going to get some light in there um, there's a lot of other options out there um, you can see that this is one that i purchased and it doesn't exactly fit too well um, this is uh, for i think for elegoos i believe their ones but you can see that this one is not quite the the same kind of fit it'll work you can get these silicone ones on ebay or eBay or on Amazon. Um, this will work. I mean, the, the whole purpose of this is to basically give you a cover so that light doesn't get in there um, or dust and things like that. You can actually, they actually sell them as a set so you can cover both sides, um, which is nice uh, if you're storing it outside. Um, so, but you could theoretically just kind of have this and then have this and that way you have something soft to protect it and light doesn't get in on either side um, or minimally. So, um, something, something good to consider. Um, you could even utilize it in this fashion, which is you could kind of snap it over, over this little guy. Um, doesn't fit super well that way, um, but that's another option. Uh, so, hopefully you all get that, pick that up from, from uh, Dr. Ferguson there. Um, he, inside of this little guy, he's got a couple accessories. Um, again, this is a vat warmer for this uh, for these vats, and basically it sits against this metal or this aluminum here and heats this up so that your resin gets heated up. Really nifty design. I'll show you all the things that it, it comes with. Um, the little uh, vat cover is not something it normally cover, comes with, but he just sent one of those to me. Um, so real nice of him. Uh, it comes with a 90 degree USB adapter. So basically you can come, you can stick this into the side of your uh, mini 4K and then stick this. He's already put a little 3M adhesive on there. This stuff's really super, super sticky. Um, and so that, and you made a little housing so that way uh, it sits on the side and doesn't just kind of flop around. So you stick this to the side. You can still peel off if you really wanted to, but this makes access to the, uh, putting your flash drive in much easier. Uh, so that's included in the kit. Um, we uh, reused the plastic uh, uh, from that, but um, you know, it's uh, no waste, right? Included also, you get a little um, a plate, uh, a build plate draining uh, tool. So this guy is going to go over uh, your. There's going to be your speed nut, so you can see the little hex there. So the speed nut is going to be sitting right here on your vat, and this will rest there. And that will allow this to allow your vat to drain. Um, so you could uh, theoretically, so this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look something like that. Okay. So either that or that, either way. Um, it's going to sit on there and it's going to drain all the resin off. So you don't have to sit there and scrape it. Um, and then you can kind of, and it's really nifty. He includes this uh, with, with the package for the vat warmer, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can get those... Uh, you can get these, something like this, actually for your original one. Let's say you didn't have a speed nut, uh, didn't like the speed nuts, whatever. You can actually get these for, I think they're 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, so the same, same purpose. It sits, your, your vat just, or your build plate sits right here. Um, this is where your screw is, and then you get, uh, and it basically drains into your, into your resin. Okay. Okay. Um, also included in this is some extra screws. Um, these are longer screws that are. I'll show you where they go later on. Um, you're gonna watch. It, you're gonna want to watch this video because that uh, really tells you all about that. Um, there's a flash drive in here. I'm assuming it has some of the settings. I haven't plugged this in. 
um, some settings and maybe also um, the video on how to set it up. If not, it's on their website, I believe. Um, these are the speed nuts and these are a uh, modified uh, screw that or uh, nut that goes over your post to hold your bat in. And what these are, if you're curious what, the, what how they work, is you're, normally you have your, your screw that retains your vat here, uh, comes straight through there. If you look on the inside of this, you'll see that one side is um, threaded, maybe hard to see in this video, but you'll see that this side is threaded and this side is likely not threaded. And the reason why, and, and you can see here, I'll show you, you can see them side by side because they have two. So this is the open side, there's the threaded side. You can see the difference in size, okay? So the size difference is because you got threads on this side, and so basically what this does is it slides over your post real quick, and then it only has to thread on the last three or four rounds, and it makes it a lot faster. Alternatively, you could get like a, a washer, a nylon. They make these nylon washers and spacers that some people um, you, you use them when you do um, mounting TVs and things like that. You'll see those. You can get them on Amazon or eBay. Um, so you could get that if you didn't purchase these or didn't have these. Um, and basically you put a space, you put a spacer right over that and then you would screw your little thing on and it would only have to engage for a few, few turns and accomplish the same thing. Um, just FYI. Then you've got, um, this guy right here. This is really kind of smart. Actually, this is a little bow tie. That's like a locking piece. I'll show you where that goes later on. Um, so we'll take this out of here and the rest of this is, um, and in here is all your parts for your actual warmer. So you've got a, a uh, this is your power adapter. This is a separate power ad adapter. And you notice that he put that warmer on there, which is smart. Um, the reason why is because you don't want to accidentally plug in your uh, mini 4K with this. Uh, I believe they're slightly different. So you don't want to power one with the other, okay? So make sure that you use that one for the vat warmer and not the other one. Um, not the one for your mini 4K. Uh, then there is, okay, so we've gone over all of that. Then there's the actual warmer itself. So here it is in all its glory, the Ferguson Pro Vat Warmer. And so you can see there's a couple different pieces to it. Um, they are, they were, I should probably put this back together. They were uh, Velcroed together. So this will help kind of keep this from flopping around as much. Um, essentially, uh, you've got your settings are set up here so you can see that it says celsius fahrenheit and then set uh, essentially you've got um, you can set your temperature that's your desired temperature and this is the existing the current temperature this is your on off button keeps it on for two hours i believe uh, if it goes off or you want it to go on keep staying on just hit it again and turn it back on for two hours then you've got your power adapter area so this is where your power adapter actually attaches right there and then on uh, then underneath is where all the wires run. So everything is pretty much protected from resin, things like that. Um, I'm sure you could still get stuff in there if you really, really tried. Um, then you've got the actual assembly for the, that goes around your Z axis uh, tower. And so this little guy right here is going to uh, go around the, the, around the build plate, the, the Z axis that extends vertically. And then you can see that there's screws, uh, screw holes um in there and that's what those longer screws were for so those longer screws that come with that package which is right here and the allen wrench um, those are to attach this to the actual frozen uh, sonic mini 4k um, that bow tie it goes right there ingenious so it allows you to stretch this around your tower or the z-axis and then you lock it in place, which is a really smart idea. It still allows this to um, be taken off if you want, um, but when you um, when, when it's there, it's pretty rigid. Uh, the And I haven't installed this yet, so you'll wanna watch the video for the install. He's got a whole video on that. This is the actual warming part of the plate. So this actually sits against your, um, your vat, like this when it's in there. And so this sits against there and then that heats that up, okay? I assume that this might be a thermostat of some sort or like a temperature sensor, but I'm not certain what that exactly is, but that would be my guess if I was to guess. Um, though it doesn't have anything really super obvious there, so I'm not sure if that's just a um, something else. 
Um, and then that's pretty much all she wrote on that. So you watch the install video, you put this in there, warms up your resin to your desired temperature, and um, hopefully that uh, that helps you guys out. Um, you can get these uh, from Dr. Ferguson. I'll probably put a link on the post wherever I put this up. And uh, again, this is uh, Christian with uh, Casa Zubis Industry. Hopefully that helped.